so much for coming. And uh, I wanted to uh, read uh, a quote, I think, from, uh, is it Oprah Winfrey? Uh, one of these people. <laughs> um, and I want us to just come in into the session with that, with that mindset. Uh, oh, yes, the mic. Uh, come into the session with that mindset. Uh, it reads as follows. Know what sparks the light in you so that you, in your own way, can illuminate the world. Right? So I want us uh, to, to come together today in a single purpose, just to learn from each other, to grow with each other. Um, and it starts with each and every one of you. Um, so also, after this whole chat that I'm doing right now, do take the moment to just go and see the different showcases. Uh, I think I have the names here. There's Hyde Cleaning Solutions, Niante, uh, if you see the, the dried fruit over there. Um, there's Dream Branded Solutions, Hadasha Cakes and Catering. Um, so yeah, take the moment, go in, have a chat, understand what they do. Um, I think there's one person who said we must excuse them um, from the GEP. I think it's the Government Enterprise Propeller. Um, how dang, oh yes, there's a G somewhere there. Um, just, but they did say that they will extend their services to all the SMEs that are in our insights platform. Um, so yeah, uh, take off your jackets, um, put them on the wall, on the couches, relax. This is also home. <laughs> yeah, let's, 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 let's have fun um, and really get to know each other and really listen and ask the significant questions um, so that at the end of the day, this is a very, will be a fruitful um, session. Good afternoon, everyone, um, and thank you so, so much for coming through. This is our actually our second mixer, officially, but the first one that is specifically for women in business. Um, and I think today aligns very well with our vision at Akiba, which is really to unlock financing and financial opportunities for all, especially society and the most excluded, um, and having... You all here, obviously busy running your businesses, but making time to come to such a session is much appreciated. So um, thank you um, for, yeah, for, for joining us. So today's session and, and generally what our mixes are for is to bring in the physical element of what we stand for with our product called Insights. For those of you who've seen this name everywhere, um, that's basically our digital platform that connects small businesses to financing. Um, and yes, we started obviously uh, connecting small businesses to um, lenders. That was the kind of primary um, start, but we're realizing that for women in particular, there's such a, a much bigger gap that can, can not only be bridged by uh, lending products, right? There's a lot more that needs to be done. There's a lot more um, you know, access to financing that needs to be done in different ways. And so players like GEP that we're partnering with, which I so hope they were, they were here today, they were meant to be here to present, um, is a testament of what we stand for because they obviously generally provide grants. Um, and so we bring, we're trying to obviously grow that pool of funding and different types of financing, um, particularly for women uh, who are starting businesses and give them access to, to those type of opportunities. So one other project that we'll be talking about today that I'm super, super excited, um, excited for is one in partnership with Power. Um, Power is also another women-led business that's doing incredible things in the space. Um, and with Power, we've basically committed ourselves <laughs> to empower 5,000 women in the next two years uh, to access um, financing. And so those 5,000 women, <laughs> uh, it is quite a steep ambition, um, but, you know, in partnership with the likes of the African Development Bank uh, and a few other players, uh, we're hoping we can make this happen. Um, and so Alessimo, who will be joining the stage and, and kind of explain what this program looks like, uh, will do so in a few, few minutes. But what I do want to encourage you all is whether you are starting off your business or whether you've been in business as a woman in, you know, for the last couple of years and you've struggled accessing opportunities, whether that's export, import challenges, whether that's your general day-to-day -day operations, whether that's actually accessing the next financing to 
grow you, right? Grow your business to newer heights or acquire new assets or finance that purchase order or contract or whatever it is. Um, this program is specifically tailored to help women with those different challenges, bridge those challenges in order to obviously, you know, grow the economy, but also get you um, that access to that right opportunity that you're looking for. Um, so I am hoping in this engagement, you know, everyone is allowed to, in fact, this is the whole point of, of coming here to ask as many questions as you possibly have, um, share your stories, share your challenges. Um, and we're hoping to put it on a platform that's much larger than us, obviously, um, to get you the right exposure that you, that you need and, and want. Um, there may be a few lenders in this space, maybe not present here, but we work with, I think over a hundred lenders. Um, about 20 of which are specifically doing SME financing on Insights. So uh, a few other, you know, bigger lenders that we bring on board include the likes of the Vodalands, the banks, obviously. Um, but we want to bring other unconventional lenders that do understand the space a lot more and can provide the other kind of alternative um, types of financing. Um, so yeah, I, I'm really hoping this will be informative. I generally in these sessions come here with an open ear to learn a lot more than, you know, give or, or kind of answer anything. Um, I'm learning as much as you are. We are obviously also running a small business. It may not feel like small, but it actually is. And we do have those challenges. Um, so I think what I just want to say is, uh, everyone who's here is deserving of being here and being here means that you actually chose to want to move forward and take the leap to grow your business um, and being here also means we are committed to doing that with you um, so please do share we're very very excited to learn about your businesses um, learn how we can possibly help and even if it's outside the realm of, of insights um, whatever networks that we have will be very happy to to share that and just on that i, I want to share a story um i connected with one of the uh, smes that were in the stalls and uh the gentleman over there who um they sell nuts and other nice nuts nutty things for those that are not allergic um and he actually told me one of the issues is they have an issue they cannot get a supplier for plantains and they make plantain chips um, but they also need cashews, right, from Mozambique because we don't grow enough here. Um, and I remembered I have a friend who's also at the land bank or whatever, and he is from Mozambique. Um, so I was able to kind of, you know, connect them. And so that's that's just really the type of environment that we want to create, uh, not just today, not just with a, with insights, but also with this program that we'll be um, presenting and launching today. So yeah, thank you. That's that's all from my end, and yeah, good to have you. Uh, so in the in the next session, uh, we'll be looking at the presentation with Power. Um, they're gonna tell us more about themselves and what the program is, um, et cetera, et cetera. Um, so I'm gonna call to the stage Alessimo Mwanga. Is that correct? All right, cool. Uh, Thank you, Teboho, for inviting us. Our team is here. Everyone here looks really amazing. I'm so excited to share this exciting project that we'll be collaborating with um, Akiba Digital on. I think it's really beautiful that um, we get to partner with an organization such as Akiba that is small, just like us, just as she said. It may not look small, but it actually really is. But the magic is in the vision, the shared vision that we both have to empower as many women as we can because we know how tough it is to actually be where we are. And so why not share a few of the tools and knowledge and information and networks that we can through the programs or platforms that we have um, collaboratively. So just to start, um, the initiative is actually called Fund Her. Very intentional about why we named it that. But if we can move on to the next slide, please. The reason for that is that when you invest in women entrepreneurs, you invest in the future of economic growth. The reason for this is that you'll find that when you invest in a, in, in, in a woman, and there's a lot of women here, you'll find most of the time that money is used for 
um, paying employees. It's also used to um, educate people. It's used to care for other family members. And I think all of us here, um, whether you have black tax or not, you have so many responsibilities as women and we, ha we're, we seem to be more empathetic. And I know the gents are here too, but um, we know that the women are more empathetic towards uh, empowering their communities, but also empowering themselves. So just a raise of hands here, um, women that are business owners, if you can raise your hands. Fantastic. Aspiring, <laughs> aspiring women, entrepreneurs. Cool. So when you receive income, how much of, how, how how many of you actually pay yourselves first? Raise your hands. No one. <laughs> That's insane. So when you don't pay yourselves, you're obviously using that money to pay your employees, to help out family members, correct? Raise your hands if that's what you do. Fantastic. So this is why this program is for you. Next slide. So when you look at the macro picture, it looks really bleak, eh? Um, COVID did wonders to a lot of businesses, especially women. So you'll realize 90% of women are out of jobs and have had to close down their businesses. And what this means is that there's a huge finance gap um, for women uh, to get access to funding. And this is an AFDB report, right? So the gap is apparently 42 billion US dollars. So in rands, that's over 6 trillion. That's means there is a huge financial gap for women to access capital. So my question to you guys is, do you have any idea why there's this financial gap? Because we talk about it at a macro level, we give you guys all these stats, but you actually understand why there's this financial gap. So the reason why there's a huge gap for women to access credit is good business credit, right? So a lot of us, and uh, most of us majority here are African, so um, it's a safe space. But I know that we tend to also build really terrible credit scores when we're young, firstly, and we make really bad decisions, personally. So we absolutely hate the word transunion or any credit scoring of any sorts. So can you imagine <laughs> when you are now a business, are you being credit scored as an individual or as a business, right? You probably have not thought about that. Well, that's the reason why Akiba is here, actually. Akiba provides you the tools to be credit scored as a business and not as TransUnion. So this is a perfect reason for why you need to be part of a program like this. If you have any additional questions you're too scared to ask here, um, really, please feel free to DM me if you want. Um, but yeah, I'm looking forward to, to connecting with as many people as we connect with in this journey. Um, and in future, hopefully we'll see you guys again. But thank you for listening to me. Now we're going to get into our kind of our second segment of our day. Um, we have a another company that's gonna come up here and just tell us more about themselves. And I think uh, these people we need to thank quite a lot. Uh, I'm just gonna call uh, Moiponi and uh, Craig uh, just to come up and tell us more about themselves. And uh, yeah, Moiponi and uh, Craig, everyone. Started our business back in 2019. Um, we're actually saving up to go away on a trip, but then COVID came through. So we're like, no, um, what can we do to like to double that money, you know? So rather start a business. And before we started doing that, before we save, um, started saving up, I was doing promotions. He was a football coach. So it was just a risk, honestly. Like we've gone through so much. It takes a lot to run a business. Like for you guys to be here, like I... I really, really, really appreciate you guys for pushing. It takes a lot. It takes a lot um, financially, mentally, physically. Like right now I'm sick. I'm sorry, like my back is killing me. Like it takes a lot, honestly. So um, um, our plan is to actually open a, a restaurant, like a fixed restaurant from, cause now we're mobile. We want to like build a restaurant. We've bought our equipment and we've got our equipment back in 2020. Yeah. 
So everything is in storage because we're struggling to get a piece of land. And we've also bought shipping containers already. And like it's a whole process. So it's really hard to get like a piece of land. So because um, it's hard to get a like it's really hard this, to get a piece of land. So now um, I'm more in Lim um, based in Limpopo because I've got a piece of land that side. So my plan is to start a bakery that side. <laughs> Thank you. So that's the plan because there's a huge um, shortage of bread that side where I'm from. Like it's a it's a village, so it's people need to travel far to get like essentials. So I think the bakery will close a huge gap. And also the other plan is to um, start a poultry farm. So that's what I'm busy with now. Um, and with the I don't know with the <laughs> with food. I don't know, you can say more. Like. All right, all right, all right, all right. All right. Um, okay, first and foremost, I'd just like to say good afternoon and uh, thank you to Insights for the opportunity of letting us come and cater here today. Um, I'm Craig, by the way, and this is me, Bonnie, my partner. Yeah, they can hear me. Um, yeah, I think she's highlighted, like, um, the, the main points of like how it started and where we at right now, where our headspace is also at right now. Um, it's not an easy, an easy, an easy task whatsoever. I've never been a person of um, wanting to work with food, but uh, I was forced to work with food because I enjoy eating food. You know, <laughs> I enjoy eating food. Um, it's a, it's obviously a daily necessity. You know for a person to, to eat food, it's a, it's a necessity. So um, how it came about is obviously we had saved money um, to obviously go away, like she had said, and then COVID hit. So we were just like, Ish, okay. She was the one, I, I like spending guys. Ish. I like, I, you know, I like spending. She was just like, no, um, in, before like, you know, spending that money, think about when you go on holiday, coming back, we're gonna start from zero you again, you know? Pictures. Yeah, that's the only thing, <laughs> memories, you know? So, um, yeah, that's how Wallow and Wheels formed. Uh, we started with a, a trailer, a mobile trailer, and uh, we called it our first born. And um, as I'm up here talking to you, we've actually got a second born, which is actually mobile that moves on the road, you know, kitchen on wheels, yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> um, we've done major events, um, Oh My Jam, uh, were also a regular uh, people selling at Hula Beach Club, which recently closed down. Um, and right now, as we speak, um, we're in talks. Let me just say, I don't want to jump the gun or, you know. Okay, it's official. <laughs> it's official that uh, we've partnered up with um, um, a young man by the name of Costa Teach. Um, yeah, so he's a person that believed in our food. When we were doing our events, he always came through to obviously get food from us. Um, and he believed in the vision, the drive, you know, the sacrifice. He believed in us, which honestly means a lot. So how we got the second born is also because of him, you know. Um, he decided to partner with us and we just obviously hope to go bigger from there. Um, the? Yeah, 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 I'll get to that. Um, another thing that I wanted to mention is obviously the downfalls of the business. People think that it's a, it's just a, a joy ride, you know. It's a roller coaster being in the food industry. Sometimes you want it, sometimes you're not wanted, you know. People obviously always want to taste different types of food, you know. They don't want the same thing over and over again. So it's obviously uh, an, an initiative that you always need to be creative. It needs a lot of creativity, you know. Uh, you need to play around with your food. Um, our downfalls was obviously once uh, Hula Beach shut down. Um, once it shut down, we were actually going through the most. Honestly speaking, we there was a part where we wanted to actually just say, you know what, just put the trailer aside for now. But then, you know, you ask yourself, why did I start in the beginning? You know, that's a, the, the thing that you ask yourself. You ask, you tell yourself as well that there's people that are out there that believe in you. So why don't you believe in yourself? You know. Um, you'll hit rock bottom, but you also hit high tops as well, you know, and I believe that um, right now we're aiming for the stars, you know, 
we're really aiming for the stars. So, yeah, yeah. I just want people to know that um, you don't give up on your dream, no matter how long it takes. I was listening to my sister talking about her bakery. Um, I mean, five years, it's not child's play as well, you know. So believe in your dream, um, believe in your vision, even if nobody else believes in you and that vision. Strive, you know, uh, pursue through the, the ups and the downs. But mostly just ask yourself why you've started. And you look back and ask yourself, I've come so far, why do I need to stop now, you know? You need to challenge yourself as a person. And I think that's what life is all about, challenging and growth. You know, and um, yeah, once again to Insights, thank you for the opportunity. And I hope everybody here did enjoy the food. Thank you guys. <laughs> Let's get ready to, to welcome another presentation. Uh, I think we're gonna be excited to see this person. Um, okay, so we're gonna get uh, Mianti uh, distribution. Um, we'll be talking to uh, Malopi to just tell us more about what his business does and uh, yeah yeah I'll just give it to him. Uh, just... Greetings ladies and gentlemen. Um, my name is Malopi from Yante Manufacturing. Um, I'm here on behalf of the managing director, the CEO, the founder, Wendy Mbindulo. Um, so what do we do at Miante Manufacturing, the vision was to promote healthy living. Um, we promote healthy living and healthy eating will by <coughs> producing healthy snacks. Healthy snacks in the form of dried fruit and nuts. So like what we realized is like most of the people are eating, can I, can I call them junk food? <laughs> 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 most of the people are eating junk food due to not having time to organize a proper meal. So like what we are doing is try to like introduce the healthy snacks so that in the morning maybe if you didn't have breakfast in home and you're going into the office, you can have your your snack when you get into the office, you have your snacks, you drink water, you avoid eating those junk foods that we are talking about. So like that was the vision of studying Miyante. And like at the at the moment we we just busy trying to get penetrate the market where like we're trying to get into the retail shops and other markets that we're doing. So where we're selling now, like we're selling in pop-up markets, some of the garages, cause like what we're doing is we, <coughs> we're trying to get to them like one, 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 cause the line of the distribution center. Like, okay, we are still on it, but like it takes long. Like they send you back forth, back forth, we want this. The next moment we want this document, we bring that document, the next step we want this document. So like we are still on it, but like I think the the one 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 is the one that is working for us, like approaching them one 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 is the one that is working for us at the moment. So like the people we are working with, like we are working with people who are doing catering, some people who are doing baking because like they use our nuts for their baking. They use their our nuts for like snacks when they are doing catering for corporate functions. Yeah, that's the people that we are working with. And then like we are we are also supplying the individuals who like call into our factory. We need this much order and then like we deliver for them. That's how we are, like we are trading at the moment. And then another thing. The, the market. <laughs> let me leave, let me leave the market issue because like I'm not gonna finish now on the market issue. Yeah, and then another thing we is the issue of suppliers. As she already said, like we trying to get the supplier of the cashews because what we were doing is like we were trying to like source in our country, like buy local, do local in everything. But like we are experiencing a problem of cashews like we're dealing with cashews and like in South Africa it's there but it's so scarce so that's why we're trying to go outside and then get a, get our product outside another one we are dealing with plantain which is even not there in Af in South Africa so like we go into the Western African countries like Ghana Nigeria that's where we are sourcing our product and then another thing I had I had like she, she said something about like empowering women. 
I'm <laughs> I, I wanted to second on that. Like empowering women is, is a beautiful thing. Like I'm working as I said, I'm working under Wendy Mbindulo. Like she she's promoting the community guys. Like he's giving like many, many people a chance. Like I'm one of those. I'm one of those. Like I've like if you have told me like 10 years back that one day you will want to start your own business, I was going to argue that. But like since she brought me in her company and like showed me the way, this is what is happening. This is what we are doing. Like I have that vision of starting my own living soon. So like when she said something about like when you are empowering women, you're just not empowering an individual. You are empowering the community. I wanted to say on that. So yeah, yeah. yeah. That's what I wanted to say. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Okay, well, I'm a very shy person. I'm not sure if you can see that. And I don't really do much of public speaking. <laughs> this is my first time doing this. And thank you so much to the platform. Thank you to Akeba Digital for, um, for this platform for women to showcase themselves. Um, a lot of organizations speak of empowering SMEs. They speak of empowering women. But not so many actually do the work of actually empowering women or actually empowering SMEs. So it's actually great to see this initiative and thank you for the opportunity. <clears throat> I started Dreampreneur Solutions last year, um, September, so we'll be one next month actually. <laughs> thank you. We are a promotional products and marketing merchandise distributor. Um, by promotional products, we mean um, anything that you can give away to your loyal customers, to your consumers, to your clients, <coughs> your corporate gifts at the end of the year, your employee gifting. So as you can see in front of me, we have a gift bag with insights branded on it. Um, we do not only brand this, we also supply the product. So we have gift bags, we have mugs, we have bottles and... Um, Power banks because, oh well, Lord Shading. <laughs> um, we supply um, office stationery, we supply office supplies, uh, your banners, and as well as office groceries and fruit baskets, weekly office, um, office fruit baskets for your employees. In the long run, we want to um, we want to make a name for ourselves in this industry. We want to also have to do our in-house branding because at the moment we outsource our branding um that's what i hope for and i think my biggest challenge so far as a woman in business has been funding well with me i have a good credit score <laughs> i have a good credit score um but you know Lenders will always have to find a reason why they could not give you funding. It'll say, oh, we need um, instant money in the business every day of the uh, same day of the month. I cannot do that. I'm an entrepreneur. By the end of the month, I have outstanding invoices that are not paid for. So there's no way I can have my money like constantly on the same day of the month as salary. So that's like begin it's been like the biggest challenge. Purchase funding, uh, purchase order funding has always been the biggest um obstacle in, and we hope that um, by joining Find Her that we'll be able to find a solution to that. Um, well, I don't have much to say. That's all that I had to say. You guys can see our products and if you want to reach us, you can find us on social media, Dream Brand Solutions. We're on IG, LinkedIn, Twitter, Facebook, everywhere. We're very active on social media. And or you can pop us an email at hello at dreamsolutions.co.za and we can start to work. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> All right, guys. So I'm sure you guys are familiar with that. Um, but I just wanted to remind you again, like this is a women's event. Um, we just wanted to acknowledge in this month, especially women who are actually providing jobs, providing visions or dreams or whatever that might look like for the people that work under them. Um, so we're hoping that you at least got to um, speak with people in the room, um, get to understanding the questions you wanted to um, ask yourselves or whatever it is. Um, we really just wanted to have a platform where we focus on women entrepreneurs and how they are changing the game. Um, I know you guys get invited to a lot of these things, so I'm hoping this was very valuable. Um, you were able to see products that you also can use in your own life. 
um, insights um, that can uh, give you access to finances and you know just the stories that might inspire you to carry on um, so just uh, to give a closing remark I want to thank you all for coming here um, and I want to thank power I think they've left already um, but they're the people who are part of the um, competition who will be running a campaign for women entrepreneurs um, so please uh, look at that, take a screenshot so that when you leave, you know what to do to get in touch with them. Um, also want to thank Miante Manufacturing, um, Heights Cleaning Solution, Hadashi, uh, Wellows Catering, who gave us the tasty wings with a very hot sauce, um, and also j &H Trading Hire in Absentia. So thank you so much. This is the first of many. Please. Uh, Word of mouth is the key thing that I got from this um, uh, day is please keep on spreading the word on things that are working for you that didn't work for you because we don't have the resources most of the time at the beginning. Um, so let's do what we can um, and just say this is where I was. These are the people I met. Actually, this was their problem. How can we help? Um, and let's keep on continuing these conversations and, and please sign up to the Insights platform if you haven't. Um, and I believe the team, um, I also want to thank the Akiba team for hosting this, the marketing team. Um, and you're going to walk away with gift bags. And again, that's from a provider. Um, so can uh, I think Finish is going to just announce the, the, the winner for the 2.5. Um, and then you're free to mingle, uh, grab some snacks, have a gift bag and have some wine. And thank you. See you again next time.